I'm Anil Kumar and here is a very interesting video to represent complex numbers and their conjugates. Right? So let me take an example. Let us say we have a complex number z which is written as uh, 3 minus minus 2i let us say. What will be the conjugate of this? Well the conjugate of this normally written with a bar here will be we'll use the plus sign right so we'll just change the sign it becomes 3 plus 2y so that becomes the conjugate of this particular vector right now the question is how can we represent them on a plane and another question is from the complex number if i have to sketch the conjugate what should i do well these are the two questions which will understand and answer in this particular video. So let us uh, make a plane which represents complex numbers. Okay, so on a plane to represent complex number we have the origin and the horizontal axis represents the real numbers. The vertical axis represents the imaginary part i. Now to get the complex number 3 minus 2i, let's say these are our units. Okay, so let's say let me just make some okay so we are doing very approximate but it gives you good understanding of what we are trying to do so z three real parts so one two three minus two so going down two units so it'll kind of like this so this is the complex number z for us is it okay that is the z right so this is minus two and that one here is three how about the conjugate part okay conjugate part let me use another ink 3 plus 2i so 3 and then we go up right 2i so that becomes 3 plus 2i and this is the conjugate part do you see how they are related yes it is very clear that these two are basically reflection on horizontal real axis do you see i'm not writing x real axis okay so reflection on this axis gives you the conjugate do you understand that is how it is let's take a few more examples let's say vector u is 2i in that case the conjugate will be minus 2i right you can check it out does it help 2i is two units down let's say 2i is kind of like this is it okay so that is 2i minus i'm sorry is a positive part so 2i is like this correct so this is 2i 2i and this becomes minus 2i is it okay minus 2i so it works if i take just a real part then what happens hmm interesting so if i take vector as a 3 plus let me purposely write 0i no need to write that in that case the conjugate will be just minus oh minus part is 0 just 3 minus 0i but that doesn't make a difference so in this case the vector will be 3 3 right so it is going to be same is it okay it makes sense reflection on the x-axis you get the same axis do you see that so so it is kind of same so mirror image reflection along, along the x-axis it works correct so it works so what we have learned here is that a complex number and its conjugate can be represented on a plane and they are mirror image of one another correct so as an exercise you can try some vectors let's say we have a, a minus 5 plus 2 i write down its conjugate right and then you could have a p as a 2 minus half i is it okay and write down its conjugate and represent it on the plane right this will be minus 5 minus 2i do not do negative of the real part so that's why i did it for you only this part changes sign okay so this will be 2 plus half i represent them on the plane and then check with my solution solution here is for w minus 5 so we'll go 5 units to the left 1 2 3 4 5 and 2 2 up 1 2 right so that is the complex number w right 
minus 5 2i and its reflection here well represents I mean here minus this is minus 2 okay and its reflection here represents complex I mean the conjugate part of the vector do you see that so it will always be reflected along the real axis to get the conjugate I hope this concept is very clear I'm Anil Kumar you can always share and subscribe my videos thank you and all the best